you uh, get ready with me. I'm going to Kuala Lumpur. You know what? I've always had Kuala Lumpur like every month. So if you want to see what I do with my makeup and before I get ready, I need to leave my place in about an hour and 15 minutes from now. It's now 5.55, so I should be done with my makeup by 7 o'clock because my sign-in time is at 8 o'clock so I need to leave my place at 7.15 because I live so far away Alright, so without further ado, let's start First, you need to answer those duty-free questions whenever they come out in departures because they do give you a free perfume So happy with this I, um, I think this one is like 400 dirhams in the market so Woohoo! Free perfume, freebies! Who doesn't want freebies anyway? To prime my skin, first of all, let's start with my favorite primer, the Late Cream Concentrate from Embryolise. I will, the day I'll stop using this is the day I'll probably die. Later on, I'm gonna shut up because I'm gonna have to concentrate with the way I put makeup. But for now, we shall be taking one day at a time. <laughs> one step at a time. All right. Primer done. Then the next step is putting on foundation, and I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the color beige. And I'm just going to put like maybe a bazillion in the the back of my hand. And I'm using the Morphe M Triple Four brush. I think I'm gonna have to put a towel because um. So many times it has happened where the crew would make a comment like, Oh my god, Rhea, what's wrong with your blouse? And I'm, I've just got foundation all over my blouse, so there you go. What can I say? I'm a baby. To correct my dark under eye, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer Orange Corrector. You can buy this in uh, the States for like hella cheap, like $3.99. But you can also get this in Dubai at Pro Makeup Boutique in Oasis Mall. So for my concealer, I'm using the Rainforest of the Sea from Tarte Cosmetics and in the color medium. This concealer doesn't have anything harmful for your skin, like for example, parabens, talc, mica, or mica, whatever you call it. Um, it's really, really amazing on your skin. It feels so light. The only thing that I can, I do notice about it is that it doesn't really uh, give a full-on coverage that's why um, I'm putting on a little bit of the LA girl cosmetic oh, hell no what are you talking about a little bit that's a lot so I'm putting the um, LA girl cosmetics in natural um, all over on top of it because I feel like I don't know I feel like just kind of like I'm bare like it doesn't really do anything for me so then for the highlighting I'm using the porcelain um, and putting that on top you know you know the drill guys like I put them on the side of my um, my lips too just to make sure that any discoloration will be covered um, from you know like any freckles or brown spots and then for my contour I'm also using the same LA girl cosmetics in the color chestnut and I'm just you know flickering it everywhere all over my um, my face and this are all in very very important areas so as you can see with the beauty blender you can see how much of a difference it is from like the previous concealer that i used compared to the la girl cosmetics like this one seriously like it, it like erases all my dark circles so i don't know maybe i'll use the tarte cosmetics um probably when i want something that's just really natural and really light which doesn't really happen every day because i want like a full on uh, coverage every day i don't know so then um yeah that's how it goes then let's do some cardio at six in the morning let's blend blend and blend because after all it does strengthen and tones our shoulders so to set my concealer i'm using laura mercier translucent finishing powder and this has become my holy grail i will not probably use any more powder any other powder under my eye because this one is just 
my favorite like the way it blends onto my skin i love it i do like to use another powder under my cheek to bake and that would be the rcma no color powder i got this from my friend joanna and she does sell them in the ek crew market for like 75 dirham so go get yourself one and while we are looking like Casper the Friendly Ghost, my favorite part of any tutorial is to do my eyebrows. And I'm using obviously the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Pomade Gel in medium brown. So that's how I do my eyebrow, you guys. I just outline first and then I'll probably fill in the blanks as if I am, you know, doing a coloring book. I used to love them when I was a kid. I mean, I used to get really intimidated when it comes to like doing my eyebrows in the beginning when I was still learning to put on makeup. However, as time passes by and as you get really familiar with the shape of your eyebrow, um, and especially with a lot of practice, then things get a things do get a lot better. So I'm using a different brush. I'm using the Morphe brush um, to fill in the blanks, which is, you know, to color my eyebrow. I find that it's really easier to use because it's you know it's flatter and it's wider so it's not as difficult to color the eyebrow i'll be posting the number of this morphe brush in the description bar so just so you guys know like what the number is in case you guys want to buy this and in their website I am obviously using one of my holy grail, the primer potion from Urban Decay in the color Eden. And to provide a smooth application, I'm using the matte maker from Maybelline and just like spreading them all over my eyelid. The first color that we'll be using is the Refined Golden from MAC Cosmetics. You saw that earlier on and honestly, it's supposed to be a bronzer, but I like the color so there's no rule with makeup the next color is the swiss chocolate or i think that's corduroy i will be posting them in the description box below and i'm just using a small circular motion to put them in the outer corner of my eye and then the next step would be to use the morphe made of gold color i like this color because it makes my eyes pop you know especially when i try closing my eyes and obviously it does give that kind of impression with my team that i here i am at six in the morning i am making a really nice effort to look very presentable presentable so i don't a lot of people really do appreciate the way that i go to work and with my makeup and i'm really happy with that so must be working you know i'm just using a clean brush to blend everything in and to highlight the inner corner of my eye i'm using the mac cosmetics color cold nylon I get a lot of compliments about this too. Here we go, that's um, Inglot number 77. Uh, the blackest of the black eyeliner and I'm so obsessed with it because it is honestly the eyeliner of the decade. Like I'll probably stop using this until I'm like 80 and everything is like wrinkly all over my eyes. So there you go. First I try making the wing and then I try the top of the wing. I flip the brush and then I feel, feel the, um, the rest of it like at the inner corner. So I'm gonna shut up now. Bye! To add some color on my lower lash line, I'm using the Shiseido Dark Brown Eyeliner. I like this one because it's small and it's thin and it doesn't really bleed anywhere. And then I am just blending it with a medium size uh, flat eye, um, eyeshadow brush and it does really blend seamlessly into my lower lash line. So use this one, just a tip. Right, so today I feel 
like I want to have a lot of lashes so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my my ultimate mascara the false falsies push-up drama there's only drama in my mascara and never on my flight for the blusher I'm using the MAC uh, Melba blush, blush only because it really works well with red lipstick. There's a girl that uh, posted a question in my uh, Instagram. She said that if I could post all my holy grail products, and I think I'm just gonna do that very, very soon. So, for the highlighter, this I'm obsessed with this one currently. Okay, the Becca Highlighter Cosmetics. There has been a couple of um, a couple of rumors that they are pulling out the ones that comes in a palette because the ingredients are different. But anyway, this one is really really good. Oh, let me just take this out. And you might have noticed. Um, I topped up a little bit on the bridge of my nose. Right, so for my highlighter, I want you to see the miracle. I'm highlighted at 40,000 feet. I'm all bling. I don't need diamonds. I don't need rings. All I need is my Becca highlighter. I'm putting a little bit of contour in my nose and I'm using just my tiny finger. I did use my ring finger a while ago, but get over it. I'm so obsessed with this. You guys have no idea. Like this is all I dream about. Becca Cosmetics. So for my red lipstick, I have just recently came back from my LA vacation and I did go to the Morphe store and I bought this red rum lipstick from Jeffree Star. Honestly, you guys, invest in a good lipstick. This one costs about $35 at the Windsor Smith shoe store. They do have a couple of uh, Jeffree Star lipstick, but I'm not sure if the red rum is available because all I see are like purples and pinks and white colors and greens. But when you do get this, and this is like so difficult to find because it's always sold out online, do invest in them because they really, really are velour and they do feel like velvet on your lips and they don't dry out. That's the most important thing. They don't dry out in the aircraft.
So there you go. That's my work makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't have eyelashes right now. We're not allowed to wear eyelashes and rightfully so because you don't want to be serving food and then an eyelash has flown on the chicken breast that you have served to a first class customer. So um, if you guys want to know how I do my hair, it has been posted on my previous work makeup tutorial. That's it. Thank you so much for watching and I love you guys. Be kind to each other. Be nice to each other. The world is such a big place and there's so many people right now that are suffering and my heart goes out to those victims in the Orlando shooting. There's no religion. There's no um, there's no reason for it. It's just all really about acceptance, accepting who you are. I think if every single person in the world starts accepting who they are and the people that they love surround them with acceptance, this world would be a better, better place to live in. Okay, so I love you. Bye.